That's not duck walk anymore. Let me tell you. Forget about 15 fight. Well, what do you suggest that is reasonable? Say hello to my little friend, leucine, protein, creatine. These are not your normal powders from the 80s, all right? The Bolivian marching powder, Colombian bang bang, no. These will actually prolong life. These will actually necessary to hold on to your muscle mass as we age. So this episode, we're going to go over the three main things to help you age healthy, maintain your muscle mass. Woman, man, doesn't matter. All right? This counts for all of us. So, welcome to another Visser Podcast. Let's get going. Okay, let's start with leucine. An amino acid, key in maintaining muscle mass, helping you recover, avoiding sarcopenia. And leucine is specific. And the reason I have it specifically, because when we wake up in the morning, okay, we're in a catabolic state, which means our body is kind of feeding off our own self, our own cells, our own muscles, everything. And we need to switch that with our first meal to an anabolic state. And the way we do that is with 2.5 grams of leucine. So we have to get first thing, first meal, 2.5 grams of leucine in our body. And I'm gonna go through the list of foods and what you need to be eating to get that done. So starting your breakfast or the first meal with, you know, Quaker oats are no good, all right? No good. We need to start it with protein because that gets mTOR activated, the mTOR pathway. To M activate the mTOR pathway, we need 2.5 grams of leucine. Nothing less, nothing more, 2.5 grams. This has been researched. I'll link the research below. So we need this to start the anabolic cycle, to start kind of building muscle, holding on to our muscle as we age to avoid sarcopenia for women and, and men alike. So how do we get 2.5 grams of leucine? If you're eating eggs, it's around five eggs, five big eggs to get 2.5 grams. Now, I'm not telling you eat five eggs. I'm telling you combine it. You know, you can combine it with other proteins, but combine it so that in the end, you're getting 2.5 grams. I'm just going to list, and these are not accurate numbers in the sense of perfect numbers because I don't know where your eggs come from. I don't know how the chickens were, etc., etc. Okay, you get the picture. So we're going to go through the list and it's going to be a list that's kind of gives you a ballpark figure. So we started with five eggs. As far as chicken, we need 140 grams, five ounces of chicken breast. When we're looking at beef, 125 grams, 4.4 ounces of beef. Now you can combine those. For vegetarians to get with food to 2.5 grams of leucine, I have a little list there, okay? Didn't forget about you guys. So here, lentils, we want to do about 360 grams or one and a half cups of cooked lentils. Tofu, 360 grams, about 12.7 ounces of tofu. We'll get you there. 830 grams of quinoa, five and a half cups cooked. Greek yogurt, 290 grams, about 10 ounces of Greek yogurt will get you there, to the two and a half uh, grams of leucine. So I combine this stuff to make sure I have it and then I'll eat vegetables and I'll eat because you need your fiber, of course. And so that's really to kickstart uh, that antibiotic cycle and you need to kickstart it. It's critical, critical. So that's your kickstart. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about protein, whey protein. And the reason I say whey protein is because a lot of us are going to have to supplement. We're not going to be able to get all that in our meals, especially if you're doing fasting, 
intermittent fasting. So I eat two meals in uh, six hours from each other. And the rest of the time I'm kind of fasting. And I do it specifically to basically control my calorie intake without worrying about it. If you did five, four, three smaller meals, you could do the same. But the key is calorie intake. So you have to lower your calorie intake to stay at weight or to get to your ideal weight. That's, you know, uh, defined. So the way I do it, and this is the only reason I do it, is with intermittent fasting so I can keep those calories down without having to think about it. But problem is I'm doing two meals and I need about three times a day at least where I'm getting proteins in. So I have to supplement with whey protein so that I'm getting enough protein. How much protein do you ask? Well, we need 1.8 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So in my case, I'm 100 kilograms. I do 200 grams of protein a day. And I don't count it. I don't weigh it. It's just a ballpark figure for me. I know how much I have to have. So I partition it in three times a day of doing my protein. And that's fine. It's not going to make you gain weight. It's protein. So we have a whole episode on why protein is one of the best things you can eat. Fat is good too. I mean, you need to have fat because fat basically has a very, has the lowest glucose response spike. Uh, next up is protein and the one that really wreaks havoc is carbohydrates especially starches so try to avoid those try to lower those try to do those at the end of your meal not at the beginning so don't start with bread at the beginning of a meal never start with bread at the beginning of a meal start with fats then get into your protein and then have carbs for fiber and that's legumes vegetables etc you know you know the list so for protein, that's what we're talking about. And when we want to supplement, whey protein has been studied. It is clean. It doesn't have side effects. Now, people might say, yeah, but it spikes your, you know, it can spike your glucose when you're taking whey protein. Well, that little spike, the gains that you get from it outweigh the little spike. And it's a little spike, it goes back down. It's not something that's chronic. Only when stuff is chronic do we have a problem. When it spikes, listen, mTOR, with when we're talking about you know leucine activating mTOR well mTOR we know is not going to prolong our life but it's going to help us gain muscle mass which is exactly gonna give us quality of life so health span and lifespan in the end so it outweighs what mTOR does and it's not the whole day it's a spike that you do to have that process happen that's the protein i mean that's that, that's like the quick i'm going to give you the quick version here when we're looking at the most studied supplement we're looking at creatine now creatine does a lot of stuff creatine basically adds volumes to the cell of your muscles with water so you, you know they talk about water weight yeah but it's not water weight extracellular it's intracellular so don't worry about it. you're not going to gain water. If you have issues with creatine and you're bloating, then you should split the creatine up in maybe two or three times a day when you're taking it. I take it because I'm lazy. I take it in my water when I go work out. So I do a pre-workout and I do five grams of creatine because uh, five grams is what we need, all of us. Um, if you're a tiny little lady, um, you might get away with three grams with five grams is the go-to and creatine has no side effects all the studies show no side effects um, there was one study with uh, hair loss um, that's been discarded no one was able to reproduce it they don't know how DHT got increased in these um, college or the rugby players uh, so it was a fluke kind of thing it was something to do with the setup of that research project when we look at kidneys no issues with kidneys that's been debunked so don't even fret okay about it creatine is completely safe you know you can go up to 50 grams no problem 100 grams no problem okay but what we're saying is five grams is where you want to be that's the minimum that's good that'll get you going um 
and creatine we're looking at, and it's, it's like I said, the most studied supplement that we know. Creatine has benefits not only for muscle retention, not only for sarcopenia, not only for people that, you know, have, you know, broken a bone, need to recover, uh, people that are aging and are losing muscle mass. We all lose muscle mass when we age. It's one of the things that is, you know, indicative of how long we're going to live. Because if we don't have muscle mass, we fall, we break a hip, we break bones, they don't repair themselves that easily. Um, if you're after 60, we know we've, we had the research 65 and up, you break a hip. Half of the people that do that after 65 die. The other half live miserably ever after. So get your protein up, keep your muscle mass. It's the only thing that goes as we age. Don't worry, you're not gonna become bulk. You're not gonna bulk up. You're not gonna have too much muscle. Promise you, okay? You're not gonna do it. It's not gonna be possible. So really we need to hold on. And this is especially for the women, all right? When we get older, we need to do what? Resistance training. And together with that, we need to up our protein. We see a lack of protein in women. Huge, huge lack of protein. So really look for that metric. So 1.8 to two grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. Calculate it, see what you need, and figure out how much that is about. So that's, that's the key. When we look at creatine, coming back to creatine, creatine has been shown to also help us with cognitive health, okay? With our brain going bad. And this is newer research that has come out and it is extremely interesting. So people of age, people that are, you know, a little older, uh, you know, because before it was thought creatine is for bodybuilders, creatine is for athletes. No, it's for everybody. And when you age, you need it more. All right. So that five grams of creatine is a must. It's not only for your muscle to retain your muscle or if you're injured or whatever, you're immobilized to help recover quicker, but it's also for brain health, cognitive decline. We need to really watch this. This is a big one. And if you look at what happens to us when we get older, that's it. Uh, I showed the graph in one of my other episodes, uh, and I might put it up again. And the graph that goes, the death graph kind of, uh, what do we die from? And when we look at younger population, it's motor vehicle accidents and uh, poison. And poison, we mean overdoses, drugs, etc. And then as we get to 60, 65, the graph changes completely and it falls. We die of falls. We're falling. We don't have enough muscle mass. We don't have enough. Our bones aren't hard enough. We lose bone mass. Um, and so that becomes a huge issue. That's something we need to avoid. And we totally can with this protocol. So five grams of creatine is really key. All right. I'm going to put up some research here to show you on the creatine. We're looking at reduction of inflammation, oxidative stress goes down, anxiety, depression goes down, um, neuroprotective against brain injury and helps support brain health and development. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is, this is key. They, you know, they found that here after three hours, dose of creatine, there were positive changes in brain metabolism and cognitive performance improved. The beneficial effects peaked at four hours, but lasted up to nine hours. So yes, creatine is a must. It's not a choice. It's a must. These are for me, my musts. Okay. So leucine, 2.5 grams daily, first meal to kickstart my anabolic cycle. Second, whey protein. Why? Because I need to make sure that I get my 200 grams of protein a day and I'm eating two meals, so I might not have it. Okay, so that comes in to play. Creatine, when I work out, I take it so I don't forget it. Five grams of creatine. 
critical, critical, not only for my body, but for my brain health. So that's it. Go and nitpick all the research. I'm going to put some of the research up so you can read it yourself. But there's over a thousand studies on this. Okay. All pointing the same direction. All giving us the same answers. So it's one that I'm a very, very positive on and one that I will not live without. And you shouldn't either. So thank you. Subscribe, ring the bell notification, and let's get this thing going. Invite your friends. If you know anyone that needs this information, send it to them, please. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Take care.